What's up guys, everything Apple Pro here, and Apple just pushed out iOS 9.2.1. You know, this wasn't a surprise, we did expect this update because we went through two betas and usually we don't see that many for a .1 update. So in this video, I wanted to talk about this firmware, pretty much everything you should know, including jailbreak status, what this changes, should you update, and uh, anything in between. So first off, I just wanna say this is a very, very minor update. It was like 40 megabytes on my 6S Plus, and uh, as you can see, 9.2.1 final version. So I just wanted to show you storage-wise real quick. Uh, right here so 73.6 was available before updating after updating 73.8 so i got 0.2 back usually uh, some caches get cleared maybe in an update who knows but I did get a little bit of storage back Woo uh, besides that what is different in 9.2.1 well you will not see anything different because the change is under the cover so in the app store sometimes while downloading applications it would get stuck in you know the application you couldn't finish downloading you'd have to delete it redo it however many times until it finally downloaded it was an mdm checksum error fix so that's the only change in 9.2.1 officially that apple has made available and along with ios 9.2.1 apple did release OS 10.11.3 with bugs and stability fixes. So no new features pretty much in either version. So if we read uh, pretty much, it has a little bit of security content updates as well, which mean bad news for the jailbreak. And of course the bypass is still working. So like usual, boom, in your photos, just like that and this is on 9.2.1 still hasn't been patched i'm so surprised now as far as a jailbreak goes what about that well let me tell you as far as a jailbreak goes on 9.2.1 things get a lot more complicated it's definitely more difficult to jailbreak on 9.2.1 and this is quoting luca tedesco the guy that has a jailbreak running on 9.3 9.2.1 and 9.2 he says stay on 9.2 and not to mention the taiji jailbreak team has never made a single claim that they're gonna jailbreak 9.2.1 you know, that's all speculation. They have been working on the 9.2 jailbreak, but nothing above that. So if you guys are on iOS 9.2.1, make sure to downgrade back to 9.2. That's the safe spot to be just in case a jailbreak comes out. And you know, you have about two weeks, two weeks signing period to downgrade back to 9.2, but I would do it right this minute because uh, 9.2.1 really has nothing different. Why would you even want to stay on it? If you haven't experienced the bug, there's no reason for you to even upgrade. Now 9.3 is a whole different story. Story. It's a whole different beast and uh, you know some people are saying that they're gonna keep delaying it for every software update that comes out the jailbreak Well, you know if we do that we'll never have a jailbreak There will always be more software upgrades coming out so to make it clear to you guys 9.2 is the place to be 9.2.1 is no different. There's no reason to upgrade. If you're on 9.3, 9.2.1, get back to 9.2 right now before the signing period is closed. Now, hopefully within a few days, the Taiji jailbreak team will update us on what 9.2.1 means for their jailbreak or if they have anything at all. You know, a lot of people were saying that 9.2.1, me included, would be the threshold between uh, us knowing if the jailbreak is gonna be a 9.2 or future firmware. So hopefully in a few days, they can update us, maybe even in a few hours who knows and uh, i'll get that information to you as soon as possible so thanks so much for watching guys 9.2.1 uh performance wise i don't know if there's any difference but i will make a quick speed comparison for you guys uh, very soon here and a jailbreak stay on 9.2 guys be strong have a great day guys just a little bit longer peace